first African watercolour film, I showed you how you can paint wildlife on the hoof, literally, and how watercolour is the perfect medium for harnessing impressions of the African bush. This sequel addresses some of the many questions I've had since. What's the best light? How do I paint light and shade? How do I represent texture? How do I show dust? And how do I paint from the many photographs I bring back from safari and keep the same life that is evident in the ones done from life? That's it, isn't it?